Greetings everyone, welcome to this episode of All City Canvas. We got lots for you, so let's go! The Brazilian twins or gemelos have been taking over New York City hardcore this summer. As they feature parallel connections in Times Square throughout August, they just whipped up a super dope mural in the Lower East Side, an homage to the golden era of hip hop. Just like Martha Cooper, who we bumped into there, told us she was wearing yellow pants to support Os Gemeos and their iconic yellow characters, we too had to pop by to check it out. And my God, was it a feast. Also, an amazing added delight, artist Doe's Green, legendary member of the Rocksteady crew, dropped a magnificent detail on the pin of the b-boy, a small mugsy. If you're in New York City, drop by 2nd Avenue and 1st Street to trip out with this piece. In Mexico City, two amazing artists have teamed up once again. Ever and Smith are currently creating a collaborative piece for Mammoth in the Condesa neighborhood with their very distinctive styles. We pop by to chat with the artists and find out a little bit more about their mural. Guys? In reality, what we want to do is that in this composition it feels like no sé, la persona que lo ve hace un momento íntimo, o algo que es gigante, pero que está secreto al final ahí adentro, ¿no? Ante tanto, ante tanto caos. Entonces, por eso es esa figura tan armónica, como descendiendo de la nada, en el medio del DF. Muchas gracias a todos. Disneyland looking dull for the holidays? Worry not. You may be able to head to England to plunge into Banksy's latest creation. Dismal Land, the artist's subversive theme park. It has already opened its doors to a lucky few in the coastal city of Weston Supermare and will take over the Tropicana for six weeks. The Bemusement Park contains 18 attractions that range from a giant pinwheel that powers the entire site to a Princess Cinderella's castle to three large galleries with artworks by artists like Damien Hirst Esif, Jenny Holzer, Paul Insect, Bast, and many, many more. If you're close by, please check it out and let us know if it truly is a fairy tale. We now turn to our newly added section of Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? Did you know that the Art Institute of Chicago is employing various strategies to allow its patrons and visitors with vision disabilities to enjoy the art? One way is through its Touch Gallery. The patrons explore European, American, and Asian works from the permanent collection through tactile kits, which include plastic tablets with relief carvings to allow them to discover the piece, as well as a color photograph of the work and a large print and braille descriptions of the work. To enhance the experience, they're accompanied by sighted volunteers. They're also looking into 3D printing to give the visitors a wider range of options. Amazing initiative. These are the armies of the night. Can you dig it? Can you dig it? This week, we dig into the seventh art, specifically the 1979 flick, The Warriors. Directed by Walter Hill, the movie reflects suburban New York City in the late 70s, where a gang from Coney Island is trapped in a feat after the murder of their leader in the streets of the Bronx. The visual elements of the city become protagonists, the tagged subway, graffiti everywhere. The streets turn into a theatrical space. The scenes could be taken out of Martha Cooper's photographs, honestly, they're timeless. We won't tell you more. Grab some popcorn over the weekend and hit it. After artist Zio Ziegler's recent visit to the island of Cozumel in Mexico for Pangea Seed Seawalls, he gave us the lowdown on what joint to hit after a hard day's work. And yes, you guessed it right, to get some delicious burritos at Burritos Gorditos. Check it out if you're in the island. And that's all for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for tuning back. As always, holla at us through our social media and uh, press play next week for more. Peace out.